Hello everybody, my name is Retroboy03, and welcome to my analysis video on the recently revealed LEGO Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald set, Grindelwald's Escape. To start off, this set comes with 132 pieces and costs $20 in the United States, and it will release on August 1st, 2018. I apologize for any background noise, I can't control that. Um, so yeah. We'll start off with the build, since it's kind of hard to get a great look at the minifigs from here, or at least Grindelwald of them. This is the first off, we get an amazing new Thestral mold for this set, which, I'll be honest, is probably the main reason most people are going to get this set. And that looks so good. Like, if you remember back in 2007 when they made Order of the Phoenix set, well, just one set, but anyway, um, that it was just a skeleton horse that they gave bat wings, but... This looks so much better. I think that that might be a new mold for the dragon wings. It looks like they attached with clips instead of technic pins, and they certainly seem to be a lot smaller than normal. Not to mention that they're dual molded, which is just really awesome. And um, just that new Thestral mold is so great. I really like the face. I mean, I don't know, maybe they could have made it a bit more skeletal? I don't know, I mean, like, I think it would be cool if at some point LEGO made, like, just a fully trans smoke or trans clear Thestral to represent, you know, someone can't see it because they haven't seen anyone die yet. I don't know, I just think that would be kind of a cool idea, but something tells me LEGO will never do it. I'm, I apologize for that darkening there, but um, for the carriage itself, it's pretty nice. I mean, you have a door, I mean, we can't really see inside, but it looks like you'll be able to fit one, maybe two minifigs in there at a max. Obviously, just in the seat, I mean, like, there might be more space up front, but we really can't see that since we never get to see the interior of the carriage, but, um, it looks like you can lift the roof off, um, the wheels are drastically different sizes, and it looks like the ones in the front can move, so you can have it turn, so that's pretty nice, and we have some lights up top, and, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty simple build, but it's really nice, I, I'm a bit, I'm a huge fan of those grass pieces being used in black for some detailing that is just really smart on lego's part and um okay so starting with the figures since this is actually the better picture i have of at least miss pickery here you can see that it, this set does come with um the makuza president herself miss seraphina pickery she looks pretty nice i mean she has the per the new one piece in purple which is fantastic um she does she doesn't have a new hair piece, though. She just has some hair printed on her head, which, to be honest, I'm fine with that. I mean, the face print looks really good, and I think it works here. On a lot of figures, that doesn't work, but here it really does. And, um, I feel as though that hat piece, the, um, the sailor hat, is a good choice. Like, would I have liked to get a new hair piece? Like, a double-molded hat-hair combo? Of course, but am I too beaten up that we didn't? No, I'm fine with this. The torso print is pretty simple, but it looks really nice, and as you can see, she has the new dress piece now in sand blue, and unfortunately there's no printing on that, but I don't know. I mean, honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of the new dress pieces, but I mean, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I'll wait until they actually come out before I make my final decision. But anyway, I'm... See, the other figure we get in Grindelwald's escape is, of course, Grindelwald himself, and you can't really get a good look at his torso or leg printing here. You can sort of see the idea. Um, he comes with this tan wand, which I believe is supposed to be the Elder Wand, but just like in the Great Hall, we don't get a special mold for the Elder Wand. It's just a normal wand, which I honestly don't care that much about. I mean, like, in the books, everyone's wands would have probably looked the same. They never mentioned different wand looks, so I don't really care about that. I mean, would it have been cool to get a new Elder Wand mold? Yeah, but much like Miss Pickery's um, hat, I really... It doesn't bother me too much. I mean, this is a $20 set with a Thestral. I mean, come on. Yeah, you can see that he does have this face, which looks like, I guess, he ha he's casting a spell, maybe, and it's interesting. And that expression is a bit off, but I think it's good. I mean, like, the torso and legs are simple, but fine. I mean, I kind of wish he'd just been straight up, like, black legs as well, but... I mean, gray is fine. It's probably accurate. I just don't really... I ju I'll just probably replace them with black legs when I get the figure, but, um... 
The other odd thing is the hairpiece, which is the Draco Malfoy hairpiece in white. And I totally understand why LEGO did this, because if you look at the end of Fantastic Beasts, Grindelwald w looks ridiculous. He has, like, bleached blonde hair and this ridiculous mustache. Yikes. So LEGO clearly went for that, even though luckily it seems as though in Fantastic Beasts 2 he will be... Well he, well, he might not be having longer hair for the whole of it. He might cut it again. It at least seems like his hair is more realistically, like, blonde. Which I'm hoping is just is the, is the actual case, and it wasn't in just, like, that one scene and the lighting and stuff. But, yeah, I'm probably going to replace this with just one of the, um, the, the sand-colored Draco Malfoy hair pieces. But, I mean, it's still nice, and I completely understand Lego's decision. I'm just not a huge fan of it. I do have another picture where we can get a bit of a better look at, at Grindelwald, so let's get into that. Um, sorry about that audio interruption, if you got a bit of that. Um, again, no control over anything at the moment, so sorry about that. But, um, you can see here, I guess, you can sort of get a bit of a better look at what Grindelwald's got going on. I mean, it's pretty blurry, but... It's fine print, it looks like, and um, you can also see his alternate face where he just has a closed mouth. It's alright, but then they have power blasts. Power blasts in Lego Harry Potter. I don't understand this, but... Okay. I mean, like, um, you could just leave those off, and that's what I'm going to do. I mean, like, I guess you could sort of use this, like, the idea is that you have shots coming out of there a while out of their wands, but I mean, I guess you could use this to represent Grindelwald using the Force in Fantastic Beasts. Still don't entirely understand that. If, 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 if you have any knowledge about that, please inform me in the comments, but yeah. So that's Grindelwald's escape. Overall, $20. Oh, I didn't notice that there's a, also a seat up front, so you could sit another figure there, but um. Overall, Grindelwald's Escape looks to be a pretty nice set for 20 bucks. I mean, you get a Thestral, two pretty good minifigs. The build is pretty nice looking. And yeah, I mean, I'm, this is definitely going to be a day one purchase for me. I can't wait for August 8th when we get not only the Great Hall, not only Grindelwald's Escape, but also a Harry Potter CMF, more Fantastic Beasts sets. We are, if I had to guess, I mean, it's pretty much confirmed at this point that we're getting Newt Scamander's briefcase and... I mean, I'm also guessing that we'll get one other, like, bigger Fantastic Beast set, since that's apparently going to be only, like, 30 bucks. But anyway, um, yeah. And then for Harry Potter, we it's already confirmed by LEGO officially that we're getting the Whomping Willow, as well as, I believe, um, it's also rumored that we're getting Aragog and a UCS Hogwarts. I apologize for that. I accidentally hit the wrong button there. So thank you all so much for watching this analysis video, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye-bye.